All right, let's take a look at some of the example questions for basic geometry definitions. Our first example, A, says, what is the what best describes San Diego, California on a globe? So the question is, which of these three geometrical figures would be the best choice for identifying a specific city on a globe? Well, our three choices are a point, which is just a single dot, a line, which would in theory go around and around and around and around and around, because the line has no end, beginning and no end, or a plane, which is kind of like we said, like an infinite sized sheet of paper. So I think obviously for describing a city on a globe, we'd probably be looking at a point as being the ideal choice because it would just sort of be a dot where that city was and it'd be easy to identify. For example B, <clears throat> we need to use the picture to answer the questions. It says, what is another way to label plane J? So for question A, Remember, we can label a plane either with a capital letter, like they have here with this J up in the top right, or we can label it with any three points. So we could identify this plane as point A, D, A, C, D, or A, B, D, or A, B, or A, C, G. Any three non-collinear points will describe a plane. So we can actually do, let's do A, D, G. So this could also be identified as plane a, D, G. So three non-collinear points. For question B, <clears throat> it says list another way to label line H. So line H is identified with a lowercase h down here, which is obviously fine, but the other way to identify a line would be any two points on the line. So we could identify this line with A, B. So we could say that this is also line AB. Then for C, question C says, are K and F collinear? So collinear means they're on the same line. So the question is, are points K and F on the same line? And obviously we can tell by the picture, yes they are. Then for D, are E, B, and F coplanar? So our points E, B, and F coplanar. Um, I would say that is pretty definitely not, given that point E and point F are specifically identified as not being on this plane J or plane ADG. So this one would be a resounding new, definitely not coplanar. All right, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, what best describes a straight road connecting two cities? So we have a ray, which of course is a line that starts at one point and then continues infinitely in one direction. And then we have a line, which is a straight section but continues infinitely in both directions. We have a line segment, which has a starting point and an ending point. And then we have a plane, which is like a giant two-dimensional sheet of paper that keeps going in every direction. So I would say in this case, probably our best bet would be a line segment, since we know that we're connecting two cities. So we have a start point and an end point. So that would be a line segment telling us that choice C would be the correct one. There you go.